everyone, I am Dashnika of Class 7 and I am happy to present a travelogue on a beautiful hill station of South Mona in Kerala. So let's start. In this video, we will cover how to reach Pune, its flora and fauna, interesting facts and features, places to visit in Munnar, its culture, customs, festival and cuisine, and how to preserve the hill station beauty. Munnar is a town and hill station in the Iduki district of the southwestern Indian state of Kerala. Munnar is situated at around 5,200 feet above the mean sea level. If you travel by flight, the nearest airport is Kochi, which is around 110 km from Munnar. If one is traveling by train, the nearest railway station is Aluva, which is 108 km from Munnar. If one is a road trip lover, road condition is average. If traveling by bus, one can easily get the same from any of the South Indian major cities. Munnar in Kerala, the mystic land is abundant in rich variety of flora and fauna. Munnar is well known for its scenic beauty. The flora is divided into three categories, wild and indigenous, indigenous and cultivated and exotic. Several small and harmless wild animals like the Malabar giant squirrel, barking deer, etc. thrive in and around the tall tree resorts and are easily sighted. Munnar is located in the Western Ghats mountain range. Munnar is also called the Kashmir of South India. The name Munnar is believed to mean three rivers. Munnar has the highest peak of southern part of India called Anamudi Peak, which makes for an ideal spot for trekking. So friends, if you are a trekking enthusiastic, put your shoes on and trek away. Munnar today is the commercial center from some of the world's highest tree growing estates. Munnar is also famous for spices and herbs and Ayurvedic treatment. One can also enjoy famous Kerala massage and relax. Munnar has a wide range of adventurous sports to offer, like paragliding, trekking, cycling, etc. Famous places to visit in Munnar Kolukumari Tea Estate. Coming to Munnar and not revealing you the beauty of this tea garden is next to impossible. Tata Tea Museum This is a place that ought to be in your visit list while visiting Munnar. Misapulimala It is one of the largest peaks of Munnar. It offers some sweeping views and here one can enjoy trekking. Chokramuti Peak It offers a short and convenient track. This hill houses the exemplary shows for us. Aravi Kulam National Park This is one of the best that Kerala has to offer. This park spans over 97 square kilometers and serves home to Nilgiri Tihar. Kundala Lake If you wish to see a lake that reflects your image in the most mesmerizing way possible, Kundala Lake ought to be in your bucket list. Matuputi Dam Ideal for sightseeing as well as speedboating. This lake will capture your imagination like none other. Top Station It is the highest point in Munnar. Top station is a part of Rikon Kanan Divan Hill Station and circles all around by magnificent views. Chinnar Wildlife Century It's paradise for wildlife lovers. Madhuvans are the real inhabitants of Munnar. At their heart, people of Munnar are very simple and trustworthy. Their main occupation is tree plantation. Malayalam is the mother tongue of people living in Munnar. In Munnar, people of different religions are found like Jews, Jains, Muslims, Hindu, Christians and Buddhists. Festivals in Munnar are celebrated as the full joy and bliss. The main festivals of Munnar are Onam, Trisur Pura festival, the Pongal festival, etc. The main classical dance famous in Munnar is Mohini Atam. Now friends, when we are in South India, how one can live without trying South Indian food, including idli, sambar, dosa, coconut chutney, etc. The main breakfast in Munnar is puttu. One must try bamboo biryani of Munnar and chocolate tea. Hill stations have always been a true source of natural beauty. Avoid using plastic bags. Do not cut trees or pluck excessive fruits. Use recycled products and paper bags. Now, we have gathered few information about Munnar and we can plan a visit to Munnar. Thank you for watching.